My name is Teresa Booth Brown, and I'm the 2019-20 recipient of the Marion International Fellowship for the Visual and Performing Arts. For the nine months of the fellowship, I worked on something called the Neo-Quietism Project. I have adopted the term Neo-Quietism to represent the meditative and restorative potential found in the experience of looking at and making abstract art. Historically, the term was used for religious and philosophical purposes and has roots in Buddhism and Hinduism and other traditions. Quietism embraces an experience of turning inward, and I use it to refer to stillness and contemplation used to focus the mind. I'm interested in the moment when the viewer mutes the rhetoric, the theory, the buzz, the writing on the wall, what someone else has told you that you should experience when looking at something, and instead you experience it in your own viscera. I really love the idea that artwork has a potential to create an experience that is outside of language, and that that experience is very physical. It connects the viewer with a kind of unusual and deep self-knowledge and grounds you in a reality normally lost in the discussion of artwork. The Neoquietism Project uh, really is a creative journey as it is for all of the Marion Fellows and it begins at the Chautauqua Institution. At the Chautauqua Institution I worked at the Chautauqua School of Visual Arts and I was able to speak with 20 resident artists and staff and the conversations focused on their own creative work, their studio work, what they were thinking about. And the conversations really, what I was interested in is really having these artists engage in a deeper way with their own work, really to get them to what my thoughts were about losing the discourse and the chatter and, and getting to a more direct experience of their own work. For the next part of the fellowship, I had a month-long residency at the UCross Foundation. I had two goals for my work at the UCross Foundation. One was to create a body of my own work, namely to create images to be used in exercises for meditation. And then also a very important part, I was able to work with the girls at the Wyoming Girls School, which is a detention center for young women 12 to 18. I worked with those girls several times a week for the month that I was there, um, helping them to create abstract collages and having their own neoquietism experience. That was a wonderful part of the project. Next up was a residency at the Alberta University of the Arts in Canada, which was unfortunately cancelled due to COVID. I hope to be able to visit there in the future and continue the project. The fellowship culminates with a show of 32 archival pigment prints, which are used for meditative exercises as a large part of the fellowship and that is at the Marion Art Gallery at the State University of New York, Fredonia. In addition, quite a bit of research happened at La Napole Art Foundation in the south of France and at the Campo Artist Residency in Uruguay, as well as the Red Brick Art Center in Aspen and the Michael Warren Contemporary Gallery in Denver and with inmates at the Pitkin County Jail in Aspen. The project was also supported by many, many wonderful conversations with artists, creative people, and non-artists alike to discuss the elements of the project and the project's ideas. A large component of the Neoquietism project is an exercise that I created to help people have a very specific meditative experience looking at a work of art. So I thought I would lead you through a little bit of that exercise. We're gonna look at this painting, which is a painting uh, collage, oil on wood from 2020, from this year. The title of the painting is Absolute, although you don't need to know that to enjoy the painting. So what I'm gonna have you do is to, just to practice, take in a deep in-breath, 
and then a very relaxed, deep out breath. And that's what we're going to do basically for the exercise. So you can do this by looking at, as I said, any artwork or even looking outside into the landscape or looking at something in your home. But right now we're going to focus on this painting. So find something in the image that you want to focus on. It can be a color, it can be a line, it could be a shape. And just give yourself one in-breath and one out-breath for that item that you're looking at. And then we'll move to something fairly close or adjacent, another color, another shape, another line, another texture, and we'll do it again for another in-breath and an out-breath. And that's how it works. So let's start with the pink and violet rectangle. So let's just focus on that shape and color, that specific place for one breath in and one breath out. And then I'm going to move just above that into the square. And there's kind of a black line at the top of the square above that. And let's just focus on that line, that specific shape. And we'll do the same thing for an in-breath and an out-breath. And then we're going to move to the right of that shape where there's kind of a pale blue turquoise, kind of a wedge-shaped piece. And that'll be our next focus for an in-breath and an out-breath. And then we're going to move above that a couple shapes and colors above the green above that and then there's a kind of a red circle in the yellow and we'll use that as our focus for the next breath one in breath and one out breath and then let's move to the left and focus on the line actually that occurs between two shapes between the the linear shape on the lower the lower triangle and then the white shape above that but we're going to be looking at not either one of those shapes but kind of the space that comes in between them the line for one in breath and one out breath and then finally let's come down to the lower left of that line there's an orange square let's look at that large orange square and just take that in for one in breath and one out breath and that's the exercise the neoquietism project has meant a great deal to me and i hope to many others that the project has touched Thank you.